Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Gabriella. In today's video, I will be making an illustration in watercolor crayons, which I feel like I haven't done in a very long time. Last week I spent two days in Austria with the company that I work for. We had schedules so I didn't have much time to film, but we got to spend about an hour and a half walking around Graz to explore the old town a little bit. I took my Mongyo watercolor crayons out to make this sketch and I also decided to challenge myself with the color palette a little bit. Normally I go for colors that look very earthy and natural. I usually just try to imitate whatever is before me, but lately I've been exposed to a lot of works on Instagram where the artists tend to experiment with more expressive palettes. I knew I was gonna use warm browns as I always do. But instead of going for leaf greens and olive greens, which are my comfort zone, I chose colors that I almost never use, turquoise and cobalt blue. Since the Monkey watercolor crayon range has no turquoise color for some reason, I picked one out from my Neo Color 2s. The piece turned out challenging for other reasons as well. I had never mixed Mongyo and Neo Color crayons before, so I wasn't sure how they would blend together. And also, it was my first time using either of them on Fabriano Artistico Hot Press watercolor paper, which is a completely new surface for me. To make things even trickier, the weather conditions kept changing by the minute the whole time that I was drawing, from sunny to overcast, back and forth. So once my eyes got used to the lighting, and I started working with this new color palette, a minute later I had to adapt to a very different lighting condition. I don't like artificial lights, although I always have a ring light hanging over my desk when I'm filming. At any rate, I almost quit on this art, I was struggling so much, but I'm glad that I persevered and I finished it, even though it was quite tough. When it comes to the actual quality of these crayons, both have pros and cons, and it's entirely dependent on personal preference. When used dry, the Mongyo crayons are very hard, even unpleasant to draw with. However, they are very pigmented, and I love how they dissolve in water. They imitate regular watercolors very well. The Neo colors, on the other hand, are much softer and a lot more pleasant to draw with. However, when it comes to diluting them in water, I don't really like how they behave. They become this like paste that I personally find quite cumbersome to work with. For that reason, I only use them as regular crayons and I almost never dilute them in water. But this is just my opinion. As usual, I recommend that you hear other people's opinion as well to have a broader picture.
Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more. Take care. Bye.